ഹലോ നമസ്കാരമുണ്ട് വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു അനുദ വീഡിയോ സോ ടുഡേ ഐ ബി എക്സ്പ്ലെയിനിങ് അബൌട്ട് മൈ മൈക്ക ഇൻ്റർവ്യൂ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് സൊ മൈക്ക ഇസ് കോളേജ് ദാറ്റ് ഐ ആക്ച്വലി ആസ്പയർ ടു ജോയിൻ ഫ്രോം എ ലോങ് ടൈം ബിക്കോസ് മീഡിയ ആൻഡ് അഡ്വർടൈസിങ് ഇസ് സംതിങ് ദാറ്റ് ആക്ച്വലി യു നോ ഐ എം റിയലി ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റഡ് ഇൻ സോ മൈക്ക വാസ് വൺ ഓഫ് ദ യു നോ കോളേജസ് ദാറ്റ് ഐ ആക്ച്വലി ആസ്പയർ ടു ഗെറ്റ് ഇൻ ടു സോ ഐ ആക്ച്വലി ഹാഡ് എ ഗുഡ് എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് വിത്ത് മൈക്ക ഓൾസോ ഇൻ ടേംസ് ഓഫ് ദ ഇൻ്റർവ്യൂ പ്രോസസ്സ് സോ ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ ഐ ബി എക്സ്പ്ലെയിനിങ് അബൌട്ട് മൈ പർട്ടിക്കുലർ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് വിത്ത് മൈക്ക ഇൻ്റർവ്യൂസ് so i hope this will help a lot of aspirants who are preparing for my kind of this year so this is google visual and let's get started so if, when it comes to my kind interviews i actually attended uh, the interviews uh, twice because the last time when i uh, i didn't prepare that well uh, and i got like around 92 percentile in sat uh, so based out of that score uh, i got into uh, the selection process of myka I scored I don't remember the score exactly I had a decent I don't I won't say uh, much higher score I had a decent score in my cat as well so I got a uh, my cat code and that was uh, in 2021 where the covid was still going on but uh, still they insisted to uh, you know conduct a in person uh, interview process because as the people who are interested in my car must already know that uh, they have a gpa process that a gdpa or a vat pa process where there is a group exercise and a personal interview so for this group exercise i think it doesn't makes any sense if you are doing it online so the offline manner suits that particular uh, you know uh, selection process very well so i think that's the main reason they called us uh, for an offline interview so that time uh, the group exercise was really good the, uh, I, i don't remember exactly on 2021 case at that time my first interview experience uh, in that first interview experience they given as a topic i think uh, ott platforms uh, being uh, censored so what is your input on that and you have to prepare a chart based out of that uh, like uh, like a poster or a you know b- display banner to show that how you respond to ott being censored so actually it was a nice experience like a lot of people were there and uh, we prepared it really well in a group and uh, you'll you'll be analyzed by the uh, panelist in, in that particular setup you will be given like 20 to 30 minutes uh, for doing this activity and they will uh, they will watch you how you are involving in the activity what are your inputs and stuff and then the, the process will get over and you will move on to pa this can happen either ways so in the second time uh, my pa was first and then i went for g but in my initial thing like initial interview it was like uh, ge first and then pi later so and in pi for the first time like i didn't prepare at all at that time i thought an interview is something uh, that analyzes you as a person and what do you want to prepare if you know you actually actually what you are and what you stand for so that was my concept that at that moment of time so i didn't prepare at all so i really you know uh, i thank the interview because uh, they asked me a lot of questions they started uh, the question with the the question got uh, like i mentioned that i am a great cricket player and i was a vice captain of my college cricket team so they started the interview uh, asking me that what is the diameter of a cricket board so it was a completely different uh, you know question to start off with which i didn't had a clue like i don't want to give them a blunder answer so i told them i don't know the answer that but i do i did tell them like how to calculate and how will i go about it but from there onwards the interview shifted to another direction they asked me a lot of questions from my mechanical engineering background as a creative and marketing school a communication school i didn't expect these kind of questions so it was completely going uh, in the opposite direction which which i have uh, actually planned for actually i didn't get the selection that time and i was really disappointed and maybe i will say that is the reason why i decided i will prepare once again because at that time i got offers from imt gasiabad and also tap me if i didn't apply for my kind i didn't experience this interview thing maybe i would have joined tap me or imt but that interview experience uh, you know shook me a lot like i asked myself like wow, am i worthy for doing a mba because i just horribly performed in that interview which it's not it's unlike me so i have to do some you know something which i should prove worthy for myself at least so that's the reason why i decided to you know uh, prepare once again and the next time i was really prepared next this time around i had around 95 plus percentile in both cat and sat my cat also i think the score was relatively low but i think compared with other people the score was actually good so i went with full positiveness towards uh, for the interview 
and right before that i have completed my spjm or interview as well and i got a good call good calls from xlr mdi and all other colleges so this was a offline celeb where it's a proper interview process and there were three panelists and i think one is a person who analyze your personal behavior and the other two are faculty or alums where they will ask a lot of questions and determine your personality like it will be depending upon the questions they are asking so this was also this time i was really prepared like what to talk what to not talk but when the major chunk of my interview was based on the fact that why you are applying for my cup so i had the pro- proper answer for that why i am aspiring to you know join my cup and uh, then i told them like last from last year onwards i am trying for this last year i didn't get so this time i am hoping that i will get through because i think i can communicate properly why i want to join my cup uh, this time around so again they reiterated a lot ki why didn't you join imt because they said imt is one of the top uh, b schools in the country for marketing so why didn't you join so it's a wrong decision or uh, after all to not take imt last year and now again coming for uh, uh, myka interviews so they grilled me a lot in that as it but i stood to my point uh, like i want to join myka and these are all the things or these are all the perks that i am expecting out of joining myka than going to imt gasiaba so the interview went in direct that direction again these people asked me about a uh, lot of mechanical question they asked me about the uses of ic engine comparison between different thermodynamic laws so that also I, this time around i went prepared so i had the answer and i told them the answer but again they will come back right to that point where again why are you why didn't you join last time uh, imt gasiaba why are you coming again why myka so uh, that why myka why myka was the prominent question that stood up uh, in the interview so people who are preparing for myka interviews i will uh, urge you to you know prepare for that question like myka is a different b school and where they are looking for different people who are actually uh, really want want to get into myka for a specific reason so find that specific reason and try to you know communicate that properly that this is, these are my goals that i am looking forward to and uh, myka how myka can help me in that process so that will help you a lot because my interview was pretty much revolved revolved around that apart from that they asked me about some hygiene questions from my you know, work ex and also some my some of my profile uh, based questions but mostly it was like this only like uh, they check me entirely if i am a fit for my ka uh, and am am i really aspiring to join my ka and they also act, act some asked some tricky questions where like what are the other course do i have so i was honest about it since i have this person they anyway if i am not even if i am not saying that i didn't get this score they will understand they can possibly think so i was i was being honest there i told them about all my calls i i told them about spjm or xlr everything then they asked me like uh, so you have a lot of calls so then why myka again they came to that why myka question but again i justified and towards the end they asked me one more question ki uh, so what what is that one thing that uh, Uh, that you want to talk about which will you know cancel your selection so what based out on what thing that we shouldn't select you so then i was also confused as to what to say but i said like maybe the calls that i have uh, will be uh, a hindrance of me joining myka because maybe you will think like uh, i will go for other colleges but again i reiterated if i get the opportunity i will you know try to join myka because I, myka is something that i really aspire for but when you compare b schools i honestly told them that when i when you compare b school if i get a uh, you know tier one b school uh, maybe then i have to rethink about it which i actually did when i got the call from spjmr so yeah i i, I was being honest there and um, the interview uh, quite it was not that confident like a cap interview but yeah it was also a good experience and this time around i was feeling more confident than last time and finally i converted myka in the first list, list itself so it was actually a uh, it's actually turned out well for me so yeah this was my myka interview experience and uh, i i forgot to tell you about my ge for the second thing in the second uh, time around my group exercise was uh, was to create a propaganda or a statement uh, as a un general un security council member uh, about the intervention of uh, europe or the european union in the ukraine russia war so we have to prepare as a group some propaganda that we have to 
you know communicate with the world outside as a member of the uh, UN Security Council with supporting the Europe uh, European Union uh, with respect to the Russia Ukraine war that also went really well my teammates were actually good with all the things that we did so yeah that's pretty much it i hope this helps uh, the aspirants out there feel free to have a chat with me over my instagram or linkedin i'll be more than happy to help and all the best for your interviews uh, interviews are integral part where you can actually shift the entire momentum towards you and uh, crack the admission process so all the best for that and uh, do consider subscribing to my channel for more of such videos yeah that's it for this video see you soon this is gogul bisunil let's see in the next video Thank <laughs> you.